because I only had two hours of sleep. My daughter, who, if you had my re read my last vlog, um, I had to take her to the ER at like 10.30 at night a couple nights ago and she just had a cough. She woke up with a cough and yeah, so I took her in. It was a really nasty cough. Came out of nowhere because she didn't have a fever. They said it was allergies, which she doesn't have and it was from people smoking, which nobody in our house smokes, so I don't really know what to do with that. But anyway, so last night she had a fever, a really, really, really bad fever, woke up at... I don't know, midnight, and I hadn't gone to bed yet, and just she was boiling hot, so I gave her some medicine and brought her into my bed, and yeah, anyway, so <laughs> moving on. She's, fever's gone now, and she's still raspy voice, and right now her and my son are eating chicken noodle soup, so hopefully that'll make her feel better. Anyway, so all morning I was on the phone with um, doctor's offices to well for her and my doctor's closed and for myself to hopefully get this drain removed and they all said that they needed papers from my surgeon like my discharge papers which I had no idea where those were I just remember my surgeon saying because he's from Calgary and I'm in Saskatchewan saying anybody who's comfortable doing it can do it and um, I I'm getting irritated because it's the most painful part of it all. Um, my pants rubbing on it or my shirt rubbing on it or the binder rubbing on it. It's very irritated. Um, but I got to take my other bandages off and I kind of freaked out a little bit because it doesn't look like I have a belly button. It is the tiniest little thing and I'm hoping that it's gonna show up <laughs> after my swelling goes down. My boyfriend was teasing. He's like, what if you don't have a belly button? Then you'll be a freak. and so I phoned him and said, this is your fault. Um, anyway, I found my discharge papers and I said that I can't uh, have it removed until the contents is less than 30 milliliters in a day and it's still around 40 and it's dark um, red still. So the surgeon's office, I phoned, they said that, um, nope, it's got to stay in. And I said, well, it's coming on 10 days now because today is 10 days. 11 days? 10 days. Um, it's the 16th and I got it done on the 6th, so 10 days. He said that um, I have, they've had it in, girls have had it in until 8 weeks even, so I was not expecting that, um, so that really sucks. So I'm gonna have to find work clothes that hide my drain. Um, I will show you my tummy again. Um, I've looked at videos and stuff and I have no, barely any bruising stuff, but I will, hopefully I can get a better angle now um and then after this i'm gonna throw my kids on well, my daughter in bed and then have a nap myself hopefully so this is 10 days post tummy tuck um there is my stupid drain i hate this thing and let's see how i can get hopefully cleaned off more of my um, stuff as best I could. I still have some left here, but this is it, 10 days. So yeah, my belly button is really tiny in there, if you can see it. This is my scar. Hopefully I can get a good angle here. 10 days, my teeny tiny belly button, and it goes all the way to there, as you can see, so this is, yeah, I'll try to get closer, my stretch marks are still there, but that's okay, so that's, that is me, 10 days, and my lack of belly button. Um, so now I'm just putting on polysporin on it. And they said just treat it like an open wound, which, well, that's what it is. So hopefully I can get the drain removed soon. I don't know. <laughs> My mom said that I have to get up and walk around more. The days that I do more, I definitely notice more fluid. So I don't know if that means, um, 
I'm producing more or if I just have more to get out. So, I don't know. I'll just keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully it'll empty out soon. But that's, that's all I got for today. Um, keep on and I'm so glad that the credit card thing is all fixed up. That's great. Um, keeping my eyes on the closest to goal list. It seems to be changing, which is always a plus. And I gotta love those girls in Hoffs that are still waiting for their surgery. Can't wait for your guys' updates. And yeah, keep messaging me. I'll keep replying. Love you lots. Bye.